Hi friends, Debbie here with Debbie Gets Crafty and I have a product review package from DP Clubs. Thank you so much Emily with DP Clubs for reaching back out to me and to continue our collaboration. And this is just a small product review package that uh, I'd like to review for you. So we'll do an unbagging today and then what will happen is I will test these products out and I will let you know, uh, give you a review, an honest review of uh, the products that I have here in this bag. So let's get started. So I hope everybody is doing well. I am doing great because I have a chance to visit with you all today. And so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to put this bag off to the side. I do not recall what I have in here, <clears throat> so please do bear with me. It looks like I have a few diamond paintings and an accessory. So we're going to start with the accessory first. Okay, and let's see here. Okay, so this accessory, I know this looks a little odd, but this is, let me grab my phone because I have the official name for it, and it is a diamond painting LED neck a headlamp neck reading light for knitting camping repairs okay and so this is in the style of pink style number two the price was four dollars and 29 cents now let's go ahead and open this up and what it is friends is Sometimes when I'm diamond painting or even when I'm cross stitching, I need a little extra light. And so this is a flexible light that will fit around your neck. It'll fit around your neck like that. And the lamps will show. I don't have any batteries. I don't know what size batteries this takes, but yeah, I don't have the batteries for it. I don't have any batteries right now, as a matter of fact, but once I figure out what the batteries are, I will get them, put them in here, and I will do a short little video to show you exactly what it looks like fitting around the neck and what it looks like when it's on, okay? And this will provide there's lights on each side and it'll provide a little extra light. So that's what that is. That fits around your neck. So say you're looking at your diamond painting. It'll fit around your neck. This portion will fit around your neck. It looks like it takes two, maybe double A or triple A batteries. And then these little arms are flexible. So they'll fit around your neck and you can point them down if you'd like, or straight ahead, whatever direction you need your light in. And they each have their own on off switch. So I will go ahead and when I get the batteries, I will put them in and I will show you what it looks like all lit up. Okay, so that's a little neck lamp. Okay, on to our next product. And the next products, the next three products are all diamond painting products okay so I have here let's see I have <clears throat> okay all right so I did have here okay we'll get this one next this is a partial and this is Let's see here. There we go. Flip it around like a pancake. All right. So this cover, I have spare bags, so I'm going to go ahead and get another bag to put that in. There we go. But we'll go ahead and open this up. Sorry about that. Okay. This is a little partial, and it is rhinestones. It comes with your standard toolkit, your pink 
single placer pen, your green boat, and your single pl plate of wax in a great resealable bag. I love that. And here are your rhinestones. We'll look at those in a moment. And this is the picture, friends. Isn't that pretty? I love the border around that. And it's a pretty little teacup with a bouquet of flowers in it. It says it's a 30 by 30, which I'm sure is the size of the canvas. I'm sure that the size of the image is a little bit smaller, probably a 25 by 25. All right, isn't that pretty? Now, with these partials, the canvases are a little more stiff, and so they're going to stay uh, with the waviness on them a little longer, but I will put this in my in my book of paintings that I want to do and given enough time because I don't know when I'm going to get to this but given enough time it'll probably flatten it out quite a bit but for now these partial canvases are a little bit more stiff a canvas so they do stay a little bit more wavy a little longer but like I said that's okay so it has 12 colors to it 12 stones the drill field is very very clear it's got really pretty flowers to it I'll probably save this for springtime or if there's an event that has anything to do with flowers I'll I'll work that for that event but it's a really pretty picture as a matter of fact there's the thumbnail isn't that pretty all right so let's go ahead and take a look at our drills or the rhinestones and of course it wouldn't be a Debbie Gets Crafty video without a struggle. Here we go. Ooh, let's start with this train. It's got these solid little golden drills and it's got some beautiful lavender let's see here if we can flip that over it's got some beautiful lavender teardrops aren't they pretty and then you've got some beautiful they almost look pumpkin color iridescent teardrops and look at these marquees these beautiful rich orange marquees aren't they beautiful and then right next to it, these gorgeous cherry red marquees. I know they look alike, but they're not. These are a little more orangey. These are a little more red. Not actually. <laughs> well, it must be the light because they're the same number. They look so much, so much different in the light that I'm looking at. This looks like a little bit more of a cherry red, but they're actually the same color. Isn't that funny? Well... You know me with these old eyes. So they're the same color, friends. Sorry about that, that beautiful orange. Oh, but look at these adorable little heart-shaped rhinestones. These are bright pink heart-shaped rhinestones. Oh, they're so cute. Then we have these champagne color slivers, I call them. Little marquees. And we have these really pretty green rhinestones. Ah, here's that beautiful juicy cherry red. Isn't that pretty? Those are really cute rhinestones. And then almost like a watermelon color rhinestone. Aren't they pretty? They complement each other nicely. Then we have these really pretty clear rhinestones. And then a deeper green and the yellow. Really nice. So that'll be a fun project to work on. So we'll move that aside. And we have two more canvases, friends. So let's see here. Well, I must have been on a kick for flowers and teacups because this is a full round drill flower and teacup motif. 
And of course, there we go. Of course, I have to have a problem trying to get into the bag. So like I said, this is a full round drill. Here is your standard tool kit. Again, in that great Ziploc bag that I love so much. Single placer pen, green boat, plate of, plate of wax. Here are the colors that are all kitted up. Very pretty, muted colors. Very pretty. And we'll take a look at those in a minute. And here, my friends, is this picture. Isn't she pretty? Now that says springtime with the teacup and the pretty bouquet. I must have been on a kick when I when I picked out these items. It's a 30 by 30. It is a full round. It's 20 colors and it does include the DMC codes. It is all alphabet. However, they're not in any order, okay? And look at the colors on here. So pretty and muted and soft. I love it. And the sparkle on this canvas, I know the camera won't pick that up, but this canvas has such a nice sparkle to it. Let me grab my straightener. I'll be right back. Let's see. Here we go. All right. So let's go ahead and we'll pull back the plastic. Woohoo! There we go. All right, friends. And we'll just Don't worry, I'm going to turn it on its side and see if it'll straighten out a little better this way. Oh, look at that glistening on the, on the glue. That's a nice glue. Okay, so let's see. Much better. We're having a much better time now. Okay, there we go. And the stick is really nice as well. Poured glue. And then I'm just going to open up this side again. I'm just going to do it from the sides. And there is quite a bit of glue off the side of the painting. So I'll be mindful of that. And when I go ahead to paint, to do my diamond paintings, I usually end up taping my canvas to my light pad. So I'll make sure that the tape covers up that extra glue on the side. There we go. Ooh, that's so pretty. Isn't that nice? I love those soft muted colors, the purples and the blues and the pinks. And that looks like an antique teacup with almost like a gold rim around it and on the, on the handle. So pretty. Since these are already bagged up, I'm not going to take them out, but you can see how pretty. These are actually two different colors here. This is, there. it's almost like a, a gray kind of a lavender color. And then you'll have the different colors of the lavender in the back with the peaches and the greens. And you've got some pinks and more peaches, some mauves really pretty that pretty green color really nice color palette so that's the color palette for this particular painting and the links will be down below for each of these items okay along with the link to dp clubs and so we'll move on to the last item and this is a 30 by 40 well, we're not doing flowers in teacups this time, but we're doing one of my favorite animals. And so, here we go. We have our standard toolkit. 
a little piece of plastic. <laughs> Thank you. We'll get rid of that. Awesome. And we have our drills in the little the little bags, which is fine. I don't mind that. Doesn't bother me. I love to kit up any which way. So they're really pretty muted colors here as well. And I can't wait for you to see the design because it's so cute. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? A little cow peeking through a window. <laughs> knock, knock. Do you have any cr a cup of cream for your neighbor? <laughs> Isn't that a beautiful little country scene? I love, I love that. Nice little country field. Love the curtains. And you see how they have the reflection of the the milk jar in the window. Isn't that pretty? And the pretty little daisies. And this cute little cow. Isn't that adorable? So I had to get it. So this is 22 colors. And there are DMC codes included, again, with this beautiful glossy shine, which means it's a nice thick poured glue. I love it. And so and the stick is remarkable. Go ahead and just straighten that out. Just by, just the act of pulling back that plastic protective layer, it actually helps to start relaxing the canvas. So, and the using the straightener just helps to give it a little extra straightening. There we go. There we are. And again, this is one that'll definitely be going into my into my to-do portfolio, which will go under my already have done picture portfolio, which is quite heavy. So that's going to really help out because it's really heavy, my uh, done portfolio, and that's going to help out with straightening the uh, canvas out. Honestly, I've got canvases, I'll pull them out, and they look like they've never been rolled or folded at all. That's how flat they are. Well, that wasn't a good idea, Debbie. So we'll just go ahead and flatten that there, and then we'll just take this and flatten it that way. Okay. I know when I've I know when I've been beat. So we'll just go ahead and flatten it out that way. There we go. All right. Like I said, it'll go in my to-do folder. Isn't that adorable? Oh my God, look at those eyes. How soulful those eyes are. I love it. I'm just, I just want to pet that little cow all day long. So again, this will be in the description down below. If they are available, then, um, then the quick links will be down below along with a quick link to DP clubs as well, okay? So just to recap, we got our adorable little cow checking in on their neighbor, asking for a cup of milk. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And then I have my beautiful teacup and flowers along that same line. We have a pretty little partial rhinestone teacup and flowers. And then we started today's product review with our battery operated neck and headlamp. And as I said, once I get the batteries for it, I'll shoot a little video and show you how it looks when it's on, when you're operating it, okay? So until I see you all again, thanks so much for stopping by. Please remember to do all those YouTubey things that you do so well like, comment, and subscribe. And I appreciate 
each and every one of you. If you've not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. For those who have already subscribed, I thank you for your continued support. Please watch out for yourselves. Please watch out for your friends, family, and neighbors. Take care of yourselves and be the voice for all of those animals who don't have one. And until I see you all again, have a great day. Take care. God bless. Goodbye now. Hi friends, Debbie here again. I uh, just wanted to do a quick little update video, uh, you know, addition to this video. I got some batteries for my little neck um, light that you see here. Okay, it takes two AAA batteries and they get inserted right here in this neck area. And they were very easy to install. There you go, right there. So I'll just replace this cap. And then we'll go ahead and show you what the light looks like. Okay, so I just have this here, uh, this, this picture here that I got from DP Clubs. And so you put the... Uh, you put this around your neck, so this part will go behind your neck, and these two lights will be facing outward. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and put that on, and let's go ahead. I'm going to turn out the light, so you, it's going to get dark. Okay, now, that's one that's my right side lit. You can light each side separately. So I lit both sides. Now there are uh, three options. These are the low settings. That's the medium setting. And that's the high setting. And then they'll turn off. So I'll do that one more time the low setting and you can each you can do one for each side if you only want one side lit you only need one side lit if you want both sides lit and this is on low then I'll do medium that's one side on medium and that's the second side on medium and here's the third setting high one side both sides and you can adjust this. I'm going to turn the light back on. Okay. And I'll turn both sides off. And again, once it sits on your neck and it's facing towards what you want to light, you can adjust it for as comfortable as you want. If you want it pointing down a little further, you can have it pointing down a little further. All right, so I just wanted to give you a little a little demonstration about the light. It's really a nice little light. And so it's going to help me when I'm working on... Um, I need a little extra light when I work on my cross stitch. So I think this is going to help out a great deal. And, you know, you can position it in whatever way that you need. So it's really going to help me uh, with giving a little bit more light to my cross stitch. All right, friends. Again, this all came from DP Clubs. You'll see the descriptions down below. I'll have some links down below for DP Clubs. I'll have the links for the products themselves, the diamond paintings, and the light. And I want to just thank you once again. I just wanted to give you a little update there. And uh, thank you for watching today's video. Until I see you all again, God bless. Take care. Goodbye now.